How's it, guys? Welcome to this week's Tuesday Truth. I hope that you guys are good and that you've had a fantastic week so far. We are in the heart of a series called Jesus in Real Life. This is part four on mission with the Master. I'm going to start off by reading from the Great Commission, which is Matthew 28, 16 to 20. Please read with me. Now, the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the ends of the ages. So as Jesus said to his disciples here, we are all called as followers of Christ and as people in relationship with him to go to all the nations and to spread the gospel and to baptize people. But what I think stands out the most for me and what I think is the most cool out of the Great Commission is that Jesus clearly states that he will be with us always. He will be there when we are struggling. He will be there when we are on a high. It doesn't matter. He wants to walk with us. So I think that the Great Commission that Jesus left us clearly shows us that he wants to work with us in doing his work. He wants to help us where we can't help ourselves. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 12, 9-10, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with the weaknesses insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This so confirms that God wants to walk with us. He wants his life, this life, we have to be with him so that he can strengthen us in our weaknesses and that he can boast in our strengths. When I think back in my life, I go straight back to Red Frog's events whether it be longer ones or, or one-night events. I can so clearly see God working in the smaller things in me and my friends. I think back to Rage, where I saw volunteers who had been running away from vomit on the first night and saw how God had changed their hearts in just a couple of days and done the work with them to now the same volunteers were running towards the vomit, which I'm sure for some of you, and including myself, that takes a lot. Vomit is not fun. But I think that this is so, this so clearly shows us that God wants to work, walk in the goods and the bads of our lives. So if we can include God in all that we do and all that we want to achieve, we will be able to achieve them. Even if the road getting to the end doesn't look as straight as we would like it to be. And through letting him in and walking with him, we are going to be able to go into a world that has so much darkness and spread the light of who Jesus is. This is completing the mission that he gave us to do. I think that we are so concerned on sending missionaries out. We forget that our mission is to support those people, yes, but it is to be the light in the darkness of the world so that people would come to know Jesus through our actions and how we treat people and love people. I just want to remind you that if you go out and your words and actions are not seen, it says in Mark 6.11, and if any place will not receive you, and they will not listen to you, when you leave, shake off the dust 
that is on your feet as a testimony against them. God will take that burden. It is not on you. This verse comes after Jesus sent the twelve out with just the clothes on their back and their sandals. And just as the burden was not on them, then it doesn't fall on you if you were obedient to God. So how can we bring this into our everyday life? I think for you guys, especially at the moment, school and exams, the things that, it, that gave you anxiety before have changed so much. And I think for a lot of people, this may be causing more anxiety. And you ask, how do I let Jesus into this? I think that if you live your life with him and for him, you will feel the burden of anxiety being lifted off your shoulders. And this will make you stand out around your peers. And people will start to ask why. And that will be your opportunity to speak into their lives and show them the love of Jesus. So to end, I would like to remind you that God is so in our weaknesses with us and he will strengthen us. If I look back on my life, I can so see where God was with me in a situation and he made it so much easier and I was more effective in those situations. So I pray that you guys would let Jesus in. You would allow him to be in your lives. You would let him into all the doors of your heart so that he would be able to lift those burdens off your shoulders. Because that is so what he wants to do. He wants to live with us. He wants to live through us. And all we have to do is allow him to. Thank you for listening. And I hope that you guys have a lovely week and that we will be able to see each other soon. Cheers, guys.